What is up everybody? It's Wick here and I'm waiting at Salvation Army for it to open right now. And I got a big FBA shipment back in the back there. I got to drop off and before it starts raining and make some money. Um, pretty big shipment, uh, almost 300 items. And um, hopefully find some stuff in Salvation Army, Goodwill. And uh, we'll see if we can make some money. It looks like the lights are coming on in Salvation Army, so let's go. So here I am in Salvation Army. I was trying to record some footage, but I still had my uh, selfie cam on, so it was uh, recording backwards. But you get to see some stuff there. And uh, I get over to the electronics section, and I see a bunch of new electronics that I have not seen there yet, so I get pretty excited. Uh, one's a DVD recorder. And I decided to shut it off so I can start looking these things up anyway. So I picked up some stuff in Salvation Army. I think I did quite well. Uh, these Nike shoes, I'm not so sure. They're kind of dirty, but they're only $4.99. They're Hyper Rev. I, I thought they looked pretty cool. I don't know how well these will clean up. I mean, I, I, I'm really dumb when it comes to shoes and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't know if I could put these in the washer and wash them or if that would ruin it. You know, it's a good thing Google exists. Um, I guess I could ask my mother. I'm sure she knows. But uh, it's just like, I don't remember the last time I've washed shoes. Like, I usually just wear them until they get old and ragged, and then I switch shoes. Um, so I, I, sometimes I, like, wash them with, like, if they get dirty, with, like, a washcloth. But um, other than that, I just don't throw them in the washer or anything. So, um... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Um, probably try to clean them up some and sell them. I couldn't find any exact pair. This is a, a size 13. Um, and they're in good condition other than just being dirty. So I think they'll do pretty well. I've seen some comps sell them for like in the 40s of similar hyper res. I don't know what year they are. I think like 2014. But um, it's very rare to see Nike that are not priced like $25 or more at thrift stores anymore. And then I picked up a Panasonic Blu-ray player, 3D Full HD. This one looked like it was selling for around $100 on Amazon. I paid $10.99 for that, and it had the remote with it. The remote alone was selling for about $20. So if it does not work, because uh, there's no returns at Salvation Army, at least I should be able to get my money back with the remote. And then the Samsung DVD uh, recorder that you probably seen. I was doing some live footage in there. I don't know how well it showed up or anything, but when I seen this, these electronics, I turned it off anyway. Um, but it's a recorder, no remote with that, unfortunately, but it was selling for upwards for about $200 on Amazon. Now, I'm not going to get that unless I get a remote. I may just flip it quick on eBay without a remote, but um, be some great profits. Then for $1.99, I got a couple of picture frames uh, just for personal use to put some stuff in. So um, great pickups. Um, Hopefully, the, i got two Goodwills to go to. Uh, hopefully, um, do just as well. So I'm in Goodwill checking out one of the newer carts that came out. And I'm not seeing anything. But then over on this cart, I spot something very interesting. Waiting for these people to get out of the way. <laughs> but I couldn't wait any longer because I seen what it was. It was a Sega Saturn, unfortunately, priced at $99, though. Had a controller and the, the cables. But on eBay, you can get these for less than $99. With the, if you're gonna pay $99, you can probably get it with the box on eBay, so it just wasn't worth it. Um, it's the first time I've seen one of those in the wild, and it was very disappointing that I couldn't pick it up. I do not have that one in my collection, and I have been searching for it, but I'm not gonna pay $99 for it. Uh, just scanning the DVDs, CDs, looking for newer stuff, and uh, I go back and go through that more thoroughly when I'm not recording. Uh, you can see some Maxell tapes there. They were the 60 minutes. Those do not sell as well as the 120 minutes. But I ended up hearing um, a new cart come out. So I ended up rushing over um, so I can check that because I know there's other people in there that were going to head toward it. I love looking at new carts because it's the first chance to get the good stuff. Um, a woman came over and was kind of interfering, but... Uh, there wasn't nothing on this car anyway, and I couldn't record much of it because the guy was putting it away and talking to me. Just got out of the second Goodwill, and I picked up this uh, sweatshirt. I believe it's vintage. Um, if you know now, I'm picking up vintage stuff for Catalina as I see it, and this has 1998 on it, 1997. The dates are everywhere, but is it actually old? I think so. The tag looks pretty old, and... Um, 
Still got the, the new tag on there. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and bought it. She doesn't want it. You know, I can always return it. So, um, I do think it's uh, probably pretty valuable, though. I also picked up a tote for $2.99. Golden rule of reselling and thrifting. You never pay full price for totes and storage because you always find good tote deals. Back in my garage, I have 19 items that's going off to uh, Arizona. And this is one of them. Uh, remember way back I bought a bunch of these Clarence ice cream makers. And here's the barrel ones. I think I paid $10 for these, maybe $15. But um, I've sold a few at around 70 bucks around Christmas, and I meant to get them all in. I just forgot to add them to a shipment. But now they're selling for like 112 So um, I'm, I ended up leaving like 20 of these at Walmart because I couldn't fit everything in my car. And I thought about going back, but it was like a 40-minute drive. And I'm like, ah, these take up a lot of space. I wish now I would have bought them. But um, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of these shipped out. And a lot of things like uh, some grill parts were going to Arizona and... Things that are going to be more for summer use, um, Amazon's logistics algorithm uh, is pretty smart, so it knows what it's doing. Um, it's probably going to sell better over around Arizona, so they'll ship a lot quicker there. But anyway, um, it's already like 12:30. I've been out, I've been up since 7:30, and I've just been um, hustling, trying to get stuff done. And that's people don't realize that don't resell like how much time it takes to do stuff and how you've already always got to be hustling. But I got to get home and eat because I'm starving. I have not eaten today. And then I'm going to get this 19 piece shipment done and hopefully out tomorrow. Hey, what is up, everybody? It is the next day and I'm about to go do the normal thrift store run. And I got some stuff I'm going to drop off at the garage, just taking up space. Some of it's personal, some of the stuff I bought to resell gotta get some organization going on here it's just insane but i'm gonna hit a few thrift stores and tomorrow i think i'm gonna do a little bit of thrifting with catalina so i'll probably continue the vlog then so i thought i was pretty much dead while i was driving i got this nerf vulcan gun back here and um somehow it fired and started launching darts into the glass <laughs> and um I didn't know what was going on. I just heard a loud choo 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 and some stuff hitting the glass. I thought my car was falling apart in mid drive. And um, I just accepted death's embrace. And then when I realized uh, what it was, I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. Uh, pretty uh, funny there, but um, yeah, I'm at Goodwill, so I'm going to go in and try to make some money. So I've gotten out of Salvation Army and Goodwill now. Uh, Goodwill, I could not find anything. But Salvation Army, I did find this video rewinder. It's got a great rank. On Amazon great reviews and I believe I've sold this one before in the past two or three years ago I had a new one and I had sold it for 60 bucks and well, I don't know what I sold that one for I sold it for around 60 bucks that's what this one's going for right now is about 60 so um, Salvation Army though they opened the box which is I mean a box that's not normally sealed anyway and then they put the label on the product but if the product is bubble wrapped, they tore the wrap just enough to put a label on it. Pretty stupid. But at the same time, if they would have put their ridiculous sticky labels on this box, it probably would have damaged the box. Um, either way, I don't know if I'm going to be selling this as new or used. Um, probably uh, like new with box damage, and I should still get around $50. I paid $3.99 for it, so pretty good pickup. These things sell really well. Um, not as much used but new they do really really well back in the garage doing some work here's that vulcan uh, nerf gun uh has the tripod and the chain so this thing just unloaded in the car earlier but um i was thinking back on this how long ago i got it it's been at least a year and a half i got this at a garage sale for five bucks it was in a video i remember and i don't know what it sells for right now um probably uh still around 50 or 60 bucks it is complete works great um, a lot of times like the drum the chain and the tripod uh, is worth selling separately and not even the nerf gun because they're kind of big to ship and that's probably why I haven't listed it plus I kind of like it it's pretty fun to shoot I'm not gonna lie I always think like what if my friends we had a nerf battle just for fun like at a park or something I could bring this bad boy and just dominate but uh, <laughs> um, I need to quit holding on to stuff and get the stuff listed so um, Probably going to try to do something with that. Probably could sell it locally too and get, I mean I paid $5. It's just definitely some money there. 
So it is day three now. It's actually a Wednesday, and I think I'm just going to make this like a whole a full week vlog, or at least a Monday through Friday. Uh, so you see how mundane my reselling life is, because I'm not planning on anything super special, like any big sourcing trips or anything, just mostly local stuff. Uh, tomorrow, I will be going to the town over, um, so there'll be a few extra things there. But um, I was going to go out with Catalina today, but she has a doctor's appointment, so we're just going to go tomorrow. Uh, I got an FBA box to drop off and some post office stuff, two Goodwills, and a Salvation Army is the plan for today. I got this breakfast here in front of me. Usually I have one less hash brown and eggs, but I just didn't want to take the time to do that this morning. <laughs> just a quick bite, really. Um, got my Amazon um, Basics knife set I got for 20 bucks on Amazon. I really like it. It's actually really nice for the price. Um, Amazon Basics doing their private label thing. Um, Going to knock out other private labelers um, in the process. Um, making these in the air fryer over there, the hash browns, it's so easy. It takes 10 minutes, and they're like better than McDonald's hash browns, in my opinion. And um, I say McDonald's because McDonald's has my favorite hash browns. I love the square ones. But anyway, uh, let's go out and try to make some money today. Hey, say hello to everybody. Say hello. There you go. Here's my FBA box and some things I sold on eBay, shoes and stuff. So I'm going to go drop this stuff off and hit up the thrift stores. Scanning for new stuff at my local Goodwill and I see a Panasonic CD player. Uh, it was 2 bucks, $1.99, so I went ahead and ended up grabbing that. And um, I see a VCR and it's the Panasonic one. I, I'm pretty sure it was a good one, so I... I ended up looking it up later. Um, other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of new things. Um, just a Sony DVD player, just a basic one. They wanted 10 bucks for, I think. I think that portable black and white TV has been there forever. <laughs> Here's some ink, $2.99. It was not good ink, and it had expired. And ink's fallen off a lot, unless it's like the really good stuff. I haven't been picking it up. Over here on an end cap on the left hand side, they had these a vintage Skate City Roller Girls for 99 cents. I wish I would have picked them up. I don't know why I didn't. I looked them up. They just wasn't worth a whole lot of money and uh, really didn't have any popularity. But they were really cool vintage toys from the 90s. And for 99 cents, I should have just grabbed them. So I ended up picking up this uh, Panasonic VCR here. Um, it's one of the ones that are ranked like number five on Amazon. Um, I've sold this one multiple times. Usually sell it for $89.99, I believe. So for $8, when I went and picked it up. No remote. I will have to try to track one down if I'm going to sell it on Amazon. Otherwise, I might just do a quick flip on eBay. And I went ahead and picked up the uh, Panasonic CD player because I think I can make 10 bucks on it. It was $2. They're easy to test and list and everything. So went and picked it up because um, there are two resellers in there. And, um, like one reseller has some filters in their cart that I think I would have probably bought. The other one, I'm not so sure, like baseball cards and other stuff. But I, I see them in here every now and then. But it just goes to show you, even though resellers are crawling all over these, um, Goodwills and stuff, is they didn't touch these two things. And this is going to probably land me about $80 profit in the end. So, um, yeah, don't get too discouraged when you see other people selling and, um, there's always opportunity somewhere. It's Wednesday, Salvation Army half off day. Every color is half off, but the new color. So it is crowded, packed parking lot. Uh, waiting for it to open. We'll go in, see if we can't find something. So I got a bag of clothes and shoes in Salvation Army. I'll just show you that when I get home because it's going to be easier. But let's go drop off this FBA box and uh, hit the Goodwill over there and um, I'll head home. Here I am in Staples. I don't source Staples a lot. I uh, used to source it fairly often, but I haven't been in there for a, a long time, well over a year. Decided to stop in, seeing they had a clearance section. Was pretty excited to see it. Unfortunately, it's just nothing's marked down enough. Uh, no profits to be found at all. Uh, really a bunch of just junk. And um, when you only have like a dollar off for your clearance, it's just not good clearance. Okay, I am back home. Let me show you what I picked up in Salvation Army. Typically not the type of stuff I pick up. Um, Clothing-wise, I don't usually buy much clothing. Um, but I, since I've been going out with Catalina, I've been, you know, 
enjoying the search, the hunt for the stuff. So I've been picking up some better things, and eventually I will list those. I swear I'm not a hoarder. Um, here's some Alan Edmonds. Now, if you watch my videos, it might have been the last vlog even, or a couple of vlogs ago. I found three pairs of Alan Edmonds in two different places in one morning. Uh, it was the first time I ever even found these in the wild. Um, so I found that kind of bizarre, but here's another pair, so that makes it even more bizarre. Uh, these were $5.99. They were not half off. Uh, the yellow was not half off today, but everything else was. Uh, they're in pretty good shape, and uh, I looked up comps on them. They're Stockbridge. It looks like anywhere from $35 to $65, depending on condition, is what they'll sell for. So, you know, I'll probably price it in the middle because they are pretty good. There is a little bit of, like, very slight wear. But um, overall, they're pretty good shoes. So for $5.99, I should make some money. Um, let's go over the clothing. Uh, all this was pretty much picked up because it was half off. I probably wouldn't have paid full price for it. This is a nice Orvis 100% cashmere, uh, I guess, sweater jacket. I don't know what you'd call these things. Uh, zips. Uh, it's real nice. Seems to be in great condition. So it was 4 bucks, not 8 Um Did a quick look on comps. It looks like, you know, it's not, it's not a ton of money. But um, it should be like $30, $40 from what I can tell. Uh, unless I find a flaw on it. So that's pretty great. Here is uh, a Zelda track jacket, and I actually like this. It's in amazing condition. It's official Nintendo. It's $5.99, half off. Um, it's 3 bucks. so the back is nice, too. Um, some of these were selling for about $35, bucks, um, but I think the back actually said Zelda. I think this one um, was selling for more like $25, $30. Uh, again, for $3, uh, you're going to make money on it. Uh, it's a medium. It's not my size, but I'm tempted to keep it if it actually fits. Um, here's a members-only jacket. Uh, these can do well. And by well, I mean, I'm not talking about a ton of money. Like, this will probably sell for $20 plus buyer pay shipping. But it was 2 bucks, half off, so it's in really nice condition and um, should sell pretty well. And I almost left this, but for the price, I went ahead and picked it up. It's a Pendleton. It's not wool. I think it's maybe like 20% wool or something. Um, yeah, 20% wool. Uh, Canterbury cloth. But um, it is Pendleton and they do pretty well. And it was $1.50. So <laughs> why not? Um, I already have a bunch of wool Pendleton shirts I've bought over the last year or so that I need to list. I thought this was paint and stuff on it. But it is not. You can scratch it off. Um, so it's like chalk or something. So... It's not going to be big money. It's going to be like a $20 shirt. But like I said, for $1.50, you're going to make some money on this. It's not an exciting design or anything either. But that was some cool stuff in Salvation Army. I'm probably going to look through the clothing only on half off day. And um, other than that, I'm probably, I am probably don't really look through clothing at Goodwill because it's usually priced too high. Uh, unless I'm there with Catalina and she looks at every single clothing piece. So uh, I might as well um, spend my time looking at the clothing. Just got out of Lowe's and got a bunch more of those Christmas lights. Yay. Okay, so we have been out doing some thrifting today. It's Catalina again. Say hello, Catalina again. Hello, Catalina again. <laughs> so we're going to show you some of the stuff she got. We got this cool 90s Wrangler shirt. It has kind of a southwestern pattern. And the breast pockets. There's like two bucks at a thrift store, church like based thrift store. So, yeah, a lot of people kind of go for this aesthetic, especially if they're you know out in the country or out west. And then I found a similar one, also Wrangler. This one I like the colors more because it's brighter, but <clears throat> there's no telling which one will sell first. One was two dollars, one was two fifty. Yeah, so it's I don't know weird. why. Yeah. But it's cool. Someone out there will be like, oh yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> and I'm assuming this is 90s. It looks very 90s to me, and there's not a tag that says otherwise. So it is going online as vintage. It was a buck, so worth picking up. Yep. Any big college teams, at least ones that you've even heard of, are usually worth picking up. 
This was cool. I spotted this actually on the rack and ran over and grabbed it because there's some people kind of looking at it. Yeah. Um, it's a Pittsburgh Penguins um, hockey shirt from 91 and uh, has a little NFL tag there at the bottom too. Or NHL, I'm sorry. And uh, <laughs> it's uh, that's cool. So um, that was two forty nine at Goodwill. And lastly, this very cool. Looks like I find the right side. Dolphin shirt, nineties era, approximately. Pretty cool looking. I like the stripes. Yep. Got a cool mock neck collar and embroidered logo. They found some. Pretty cool stuff today. I found more, but this is all of what I thought you might actually be interested in. <laughs> Some of the better stuff. She, she tends to find like sometimes dozens of articles of clothing, so going over them all would probably be pretty tedious. But um, I thought those were cool. She thought they were cool, so we wanted to show you. So it is Friday morning now, and this is going to be the last day of this uh, Monday through Friday vlog. I've been in Salvation Army and Goodwill, my local ones. I have not found anything today. I think. Today is the first day I haven't found anything. Um, but I did find some stuff yesterday when me and Catalina were out. And I'm going to show you what I got um, here when I get home. Okay, everybody, I am back home. And I'm going to show you what I got yesterday. Um, it's actually very poor. I didn't realize I'd done so bad. Catalina found a lot more stuff. Uh, she has a lot more clothing to look through, though. But anyway, um, first, I got 25 of these books, the whole alphabet. Um, if you're asking that don't add up well some of the like X Y and Z's on one book so um, yeah I got these they're 79 cents a piece though so I ended up paying after tax like $21 and something but the full set I should be able to sell these for $60 on uh, eBay and um, you know the value tail books if you've been watching my videos you know how I cleaned up on those this past year and uh, I've been looking for collections of books and looking them up, and these are from the 80s, I believe 1988. They're in immaculate condition. The whole set was there, and that's why I bought them. Um, I'm only going to make like $20, $25. They will ship very cheap since it's media mail. It's probably going to cost like five or six bucks to ship these. So um, there's a good chance that I'm just going to do like um, $60 free shipping on them since it's a media mail. I like to do free shipping on media mail and... Uh, first class because you know, I pretty much know I'm not going to get too screwed um, on shipping or I may just price them a little bit lower and do calculated I don't know yet but my pickings were so slim I went ahead and you know, picked it up it's not going to be too hard to list or anything so like I said I should make $20-25 dollars, no problem they sell very regularly at that price complete in good condition uh, at least the 88 version here we are, some more clothes that I'm buying. I am going to have to get a lister. I'm going to have to start getting this stuff listed. There's no point in me buying this if I'm never going to list it. Um, <laughs> but this was only 3 bucks. It's a Nike Pro-Line Cowboys uh, Thermofit -like, um, pullover. And for $3, I've seen one that sold for, I think it was $35. Uh, very similar and um, wasn't a lot of this design on there. So for, again for three bucks I think it's gonna sell if I could get it listed like today um, Probably would do well since the Cowboys are doing well this year um, And then I picked up this at the thrift store for a dollar Again, it was because of the price. I would not have picked this up probably at Goodwill for the normal for like four dollars fifty cent price for a shirt um, It is not a great brand either it is uh, Thomas Elliott Milan, which isn't a terrible brand, uh, but it's not really popular or anything. And uh, the reason this was bought was for one, it's a dollar, and two, the colors. And this exact shirt sold for $25 plus shipping on eBay. So I figure, you know, for a buck, it's money. Might as well pick it up. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, the last five days um, of source and this is a very casual week for me just going to local places not really venturing out uh, next week I'm going to be doing a lot more heavy sourcing because uh, I need to just keep feeding the Amazon beast so hopefully some retail arbitrage and always seem to do very well when I'm stopping into thrift stores um, clearing hundreds of dollars so it, it's hard not to go into the thrift stores too but don't forget to hit that like button for me subscribe Ring that bell. Follow me on Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick.
Till next time.